Hi. Hey, what's going on, guys? I am Desiree Lee, best selling author of Inmate 1142980. And it is my goal to impact, inspire, and ignite each one of you guys to accelerate into your purpose. Why do I say that? Because there is power in your experiences. If you have been following me or if this is your first time, let us know. We would love to welcome you into the Dealey Scope. Hello, 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 everyone. It's so good to see you guys. If you saw my, um, my last podcast or my last Periscope, you know that today was a great day. Today was an exciting day. Today was a celebration day. Why? Because I had my first show on Love 860 AM today with my co-host Super Navea. Yes. Woo woo woo. Thank you guys so much for um celebrating with me. But if you saw the title, um you know, I just sat here for a second and said, "What what am I supposed to say? I'm not sure um who's listening to this." Yes. Thank you so much Carlito. Love you. Love you and today your hearts are blue. You know I love blue. But I was sitting here thinking, like, what would the message be tonight Um, as I sit here and I celebrate, I'm excited. And sometimes you have to look back and see how far you came. However, I'm just going to be transparent with you guys. The last few months, oh, my gosh, has been daunting. I felt like, why in the world did I go from one dark place to another dark place? Who am I battling for? I don't know who I might be battling for. And that's why I say there's power in your experiences. So if you watch this, if you saw this and you clicked on my Periscope, you said, you know what? You're right, Desiree. It is too late. You know, it's like, okay, five years. So my niece have the book, Super Neve. Oh my gosh, they got Super Neve and they love the book. Awesome. Thank you so much for supporting her. She's, she's going to be excited when I let her know this. But I want to know, you guys are too close to give up now because the last few months I was really going through it. Like people will look at my success and they'll see this, they'll see my website, they see I'm here, they see I'm there. But they don't know, sometimes I have to have my team around me to encourage me to keep running. And I don't know who I was going through this for, who I was battling for, but I'm so glad I did. And I almost said, you know what, this is this heavy, this leadership uh, burden that I'm holding is like super, super heavy. And I don't know who I'm holding this for, but guess what? I was so close. I could have gave up. I could have gave up. Yes, keep swimming. I could have gave up, but I'm so glad I didn't because just like two weeks ago, they said, hey, do you want your own show? And guess what? Yes, I have my own show. And it's on Love 60 AM every second Monday of each month. But I want to encourage you guys, the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. Have you guys heard that before? The harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. It is so true. Have you guys heard that before? <laughs> I have. And why is that? Why is it that the most difficult part of the battle becomes the sweetest part of the victory? Because from what I hear is what you become in the process, the character, the people you inspire, uh, is what you become in the is so you guys might be battling right now and I don't know who you might be battling for and sometimes it's not your battle sometimes you are fighting that battle for someone else so they can keep running so they can keep going and I don't know who I was battling for for you guys to get your inspiration tonight to keep on moving if I came from an inmate facing limitation after limitation everyone telling me no not because of how I look or how great I talk or how I know how to write They told me no after no after no time and time again. And as I look back from where I came, because it was just recently I was in a prison cell, y'all. It was just recently I was facing 135 years in prison. It was just recently that I was eating slop. It was just recently that I saw people fighting over a bag of chips. It was just recently that I was in a place where people had life sentences and had nothing to lose. It was just recently that I was just there. And just to see where I came from right now, to be on Periscope, to share with you that I'm on a race, the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. You got to keep pushing and persevering and keep moving forward. Yes, 
definitely you cannot give up because you might be battling for yourself it might be some you're battling for someone else why because there's power in your experience why do i say there's power in your experience maybe i went through that so that you don't have to go through it maybe i had to battle through that so you won't have to go through it and that's why that's where the power is in experience tonight's show was failure is not an option and why is failure not an option because it's the experience when you have failed I tell you, I spent a lot of money trying to invest in myself. I spoke to a lot of people who gave me suggestions and told me what to do. I talked to people who had education and people who didn't have education. They had experience. I was going here, here, and here instead of doing exactly what God has told me to do in the beginning. And those experiences, now I'm able to share with you guys. Hey, look, don't do that. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do that. I did it. It didn't work for me. It might work for you, but it didn't work for me. But there is power because of the character of the person that you became in the process. Do I look like what I've been through? <laughs> That's an amazing feeling to see, to look in the mirror and say, you know what? I don't even look like what I've been through. And that's the experience. That's what I get out of it. And I'm just like so super, super stoked. So super stoked of what I said I wanted to become. That's what I became. And that's why the victory is so sweet. That's why when I, when I came back from the radio station and on my ride home to the house, I was like, oh my gosh, I was on a radio station? I had my own show. And it was just such a wonderful experience from going from the cell into having my own radio show. And the thing is, it's like, look, you're going to have to persevere. I could have let my criminal background stop me. I, could, I had every excuse in the world. And there were, I mean, people would have understood. Oh, girl, yeah, I understand, girl, why you just giving up because, yeah, you do have a criminal background. Yes, God has the victory, girl. And I'm just like so excited about that. But what I'm saying is it's like I had every legitimate reason to not keep going, to not keep fighting to not keep battling, to just give up and say, I'm tired of being tired. And I was at that point. I was at that point. I was arrested for 11 counts of armed robbery and five counts of aggravated assault. And at 17 years old, I was facing 135 years in prison, all because I did not listen to my mother. My mother told me to come home and I should have took my butt home. But instead, I wanted to fit in with the crowd. Instead of I wanted to have fun. Instead of I thought this was the coolest thing to do. Instead of I thought I was really getting to the money. But guess what? I wasn't. And I had to spend four years in prison for that crime. And I was just the driver of the car. We could say that. But yes, I was the driver of the car. And I spent four years in prison. You were looking, probably looking at the scope and like, what? Not you. I mean, I saw it made to inspiration. But no way. For real? Yes, for real. And then the hardships came after I got out of prison when I was facing all of those no's I was just telling you guys about. When I was telling you all about the battles I was just going through because of my convicted felony. You know, all these. I have 11 counts. I don't just have one on robbery. It's 11 of them. I don't just have uh, one aggravated assault. It's five of them. What did the other people get? Oh, my God. Did you, Kay, did you read the book? You got to read the book, Kay. K Breezy, you gotta read the book. You can get my book on Amazon.com and you can find out what my co defendants got while I was in prison too. But they had to serve time too as well. But the hardships came when I got out of prison. And so, what am I saying? I fought because I said I refuse to go back to prison. I refuse to go back to prison. It has to be a way made out of no way. And see, right now, you might be battling something right now. You might be going through and you say, you know what, Desiree, I hear what you say, but I'm tired. But you have to fight. You got two choices to fight or flight. And see, you have to refuse to go back to that struggle where you just came. You got to refuse to ever be the same. If you want to change, you got to refuse to be the same. You got to refuse. You got to make up in your mind and refuse. I refuse to go back to prison. What is it? And I just kept trying. I just kept going. I mean, I tried to have my own business. I used to sell sandals. I used to sell purses. Oh my gosh, I can go down the list. I used to make personalized gifts and do graphics and everything like that. And nothing worked until I surrendered. Until I said, Lord, I need you. I don't know what else to do. I tried it my way and it's not working. And he said, I got you. I got you. Yes, the struggle. But see, when you, the harder the struggle, the sweeter the victory. 
Because now that I persevered through all of that and the doors are opening for me and now I'm seeing the glory of it and now I'm seeing reaping the, the harvest from it, from that hard work. I'm like, oh my gosh, yes. I'm so glad that God like uh, intricately placed people in my life to push me to keep going. And see, I just might be that person to just say, here, here's your glass of water. Keep running. Keep going for it. Because I'm telling you, victory is sweet. It's not because you win. It's not because, oh, you know, when we think about victory, oh, I won. No, it's what you become in the process. My mind has changed. I no longer think like I thought when I was 17 years old. I now see the possibilities now. My perception has changed. Life looks a lot brighter. I feel good about myself. I'm able to give out love because now I love myself. I'm able to pour into people because now I'm pouring into myself. I'm able to share my experiences so you don't have to go through it because now I can do that. And that's what the what the victory is in. That's what was sweet for me because I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's possible. It's definitely possible for you. If I can do it with the with the 11 counts of armed robbery on my background. Oh, trust me, you can do it, too. I mean, have you guys ever felt like after you accomplished something that you don't fought so hard for? It's great. Do you guys ever feel like that? Like, have you guys ever went through like a struggle? I mean, we all have struggles, but have you ever went through something and really like uh, succeeded or had the victory in that to move forward? And just the feeling to just look back at yourself and you just like, you know, that song It says, as I look back over my life and think things over. You know, y'all know that song? <laughs> oh my gosh. I just want to encourage you guys to let you know that you have two choices to either fight or fight. You are too close to give up now. And what if I would have gave up while I was going through? And this didn't happen years ago. I just came out of a dark place not too long ago. And I'm just so glad that God intricately placed people in my life to keep me going. And who, I don't know who I was battling for, but I'm so glad I did. Because I was so close. And I'm so glad that I did not give up. So I want to encourage you guys, you're too close to give up now. Failure is not an option. And it's never too late to become what you could have been. And if I can do it, yes, okay, okay. If I can do it. You definitely could overcome too. I am so happy to celebrate with you guys. Thank you guys so much for like tuning into my Periscope. I got Carlita, Carlito. I have my friend um, Chi. I have her up in here. Yes, definitely. And look, Carlito, they can. And remember, we were talking the other day about speaking those things into existence. I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a Periscope, and I'm going to show you my old notebook when I first started. I'm going to show you my old notebook and all the things that I have listed in there that I said I wanted to become and what I wanted to do when I started this journey as a speaker. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's like really happening. Like this thing is really real. Like what they say is law of attraction. OK, they say speak those things that be not so they were OK. God really meant what he said about that. You you know, you can speak to this mountain and move from here to there. Like it's really true. Like there is power within us. Because, you know, think about it. If you, if you have a child, okay, that's your child. They have your DNA, but they're not the parent. But everything the parent has, the child has. Just by default. Just by default. Whatever the parent has, the kids have. And they are connected by DNA. Right? Okay, okay, okay. So you're feeling me on that, right? So if God is our father, and this is just something that you just have to think about. Yes, yes, joint heirs with Christ. See what I'm saying? By default. By default. Just by default. And if that's the case, then that we too have the power to create our own wealth. We have the power to say, let there be light. So I say to you what somebody said to me. If you are confused about a decision, open your mouth and just say, let there be light. That's it. And I tell you, it just comes to me. I'm like, oh, okay, now I can see clearly now. I can definitely see clearly now through all that mess that I was looking at before. So I want you guys to keep that in mind while you're going through. It might be a struggle, yes, but I'm telling you, it's like what you become in the process is so sweet. 
And it's not even for you. I don't know who you're battling for. But you got to keep going because somebody's depending on you. But do not be, don't forget that you are God's child by default. Don't forget you are his child by default. And whatever he has, you have. Have you noticed that your kids, you know, <laughs> haven't paid that one bill, but yet they have a roof over their head? Don't you know when they say, oh, mommy, I want an iPad. Mommy, I want an iPhone. Don't we as parents, we do what we have to do when Christmas comes around, when birthdays come around, when those good get grades come around. Don't we make a way and provision to make sure we even sacrifice what we want to give for them? And that's what God did for us. He sacrificed his son to give to his children. And so that's just, just a beautiful thing. Like my heart is just like fully loaded right now. I'm just like so super stoked right now. I'm just like so excited to share this with you. Yes. I mean, I mean, for real. I mean, it's a lot of times like uh, I speak in analogies because I have to see it. I'm a, I'm a visionary. So I have to like see the actual picture. And that's the only way that I can kind of explain what I see in my mind so that to bring you into my thought process so you can see it from my side of the, the the mountain but I'm not saying that my side of the mountain makes the mountain look any different no but once we begin to see it in a different light in your own perspective in your own per, uh, uh, perception then you'll be able to see beyond what's right in front of you you're like oh Desiree I can and that's what that's what inspiration is to me inspiration gives other people permission to be great it gives them permission to not be afraid to step in their greatness to me inspiration gives well you have the victory you done went through you done told this person girl i done went through this or hey man i done went through this they done cut my light off i got evicted but guess look at my house look at my million dollar house you know or look at this you know or girl i just was spending four years in prison but look what look what's going on and this and the other and they're like wow it happened for you oh yeah god is no respect of person we are all his children okay so what it does for me is just like Oh, wow. When your inspiration, your victory, your success, the success stories out of the struggle, out of the stress, you know, out of the battles that you're that you might have battled at once before. It gives other per people permission to step in their greatness and to continue to just move forward. And that's what it does. That's what I really believe inspiration is. If the transformation, the key word of inmate to inspiration is that two part the to part that's the powerful part it's one thing to say inmate then it's one thing to say inspiration but when you say the two that means it was a some type of transformational but even that little small two letter word is so powerful because that transformation is what got me to the inspiration and if i didn't decide to say to instead of from okay you see how that transition changes then you know, where would it be? So I really believe that our battles is not for us. And you're not bound to, I'm telling you to just keep fighting, keep pressing forward. Don't give up. You cannot give up. You are not in this alone. Okay. We're in this together, but I tell you the harder the battle, the sweeter, the victory, because it's what you become in the process. And it's never too late to become what you could have been. So just because you fail does not mean you're a failure. So keep moving, keep pushing. I love you guys. Thank you for joining my Periscope. I'm about to get some rest because I have an early, early morning. And oh, we're going to do a contest. I almost forgot. So let me close out of this. I love you guys. We're about to do a contest. So make sure you tune in. Click that Perry buddy. Follow me so you can get the notifications. Love you. Thank you so much for that. Yes, contest. So see ya. We got to do the contest. Bye.